to using this Algus and hopefully we can see Algus pop off because that's what is needed for Mahinapo Gaming to get us to game three as we yeah. head into game two, Pachi. Yes, I mean, basically this is a similar uh, strategy for Mahinapo Gaming, uh, Aldous, but instead of a carry, Aldous this time is the one who's supposed to be given a, a, you know, an amount of space so that he could really stack up so that when it comes to the roaming phases, he could uh, you know, really be a threat for Pesa Esports. But again, going back here, I love the rotation of Pesa Esports here, really denying getting uh, these buffs as early as 40 seconds. So this is this is good call. But at the same time, I guess Mahinapo Gaming can abuse this by, you know, really charging up on the lanes. But I guess that's a pretty a uh, bit too late right now. This is the rotation transition to the middle side. But here onto the bottom, the Uzumaki with a low break of health. Let's see if the show will be able to kill it off by using that flicker but here onto the blue side however let's see it's kind of a very very tight fight right here that Esmeralda will be using the damages and yeah. forcing uh surprisingly Pesta Esports to really go back into their turf but manages to get to get a kill for themselves really good cornering oh uh, but let's see though will I see survive yes revitalize on top of the Stardust dance you Ooh. can see how tanky Reek was Mm -hmm. And as a result, they oh. didn't die. But oh, wow, okay. So, okay. Yeah. I wish uh, I could do that. <laughs> I wish I could do yeah. that when I used to all you. <laughs> nicely done. Nicely yeah. done. <laughs> really, that was a really good, uh, you know, reflexes for the mm. side of Blue you Really abusing right. with the remaining uh, mana that uh, he had. So that that was a good call and to really compensate for that one loss that they had. Going back though, uh, I think it's still back to the scaling game here for the side of both teams because uh, compared to game number one, Mahinapo Gaming already has, you know, they, they have the spark of uh, hope, the spark of light right here into the early phases. But let's see, Tempest Lake will be used to actually deny the Esmeralda here and goes for that kill. As a result, now, they have recovered in terms of the farm and when it comes to experience there's really a lot happening now mm -hmm. for side of um, peso esports they have all everybody's almost at level four i think only um reserving the ben things louis but yeah. louis is almost though almost uh, going for level four anyway so that's good josh on the other hand our our uh, al juice Actually mm -hmm. managed to pick up a uh, significant oh. amount of farm, 1.4k at the moment. Yeah, so it's okay. Generally good now for Mahinapo Gaming, but let's see. Look at this. Oh. The jump. Oh, this the snatch on the orange buff. And the double city gang will be able to take it away. Uzumaki mm -hmm. jumps forward. Glois pathway gonna be forced out. But it means that the members of Mahinapo Gaming will be uh, at least uh, sent away from their comfort zone. This forces Mahinapo Gaming to not really engage or to go to any fights uh, simply because one, the Glorious Pathway is out uh, for now with, the, with because of the cooldown and this gives space for uh, Pesa Esports to go for objectives as usual because this is this is really good discipline for Pesa Esports right here even though that uh, Mahinapo Gaming is getting some kills through and fro and economy as well. I like it that they really, they go one step ahead in terms of getting these objectives. Guardian's Barrier really pressuring the Cho right here for a few minutes and for the side of Pesa Esports. And okay, he will be kicked through. They use away the dragon into that tower while charged Ooh. to escape. Let's see if they Beautiful. will be at engagements. Okay, so far none. That was uh, good enough to really save his butt right there. Yeah. Let's see, the Angelo will be stunning though. The thumbs right here. Let's see if they could get that potential kill. Loy, you will be using his skill sets still. Saving the lives of his friend in need. I'll do though uses the ult but wasn't able to really teleport because he knows the dangers that lurk oh. from within oh wow wow, <laughs> oh, wow. That, that, was, that was deep okay that was deep indeed okay so. i think that there will be a little bit of a clash here in the mid lane power of nature gonna be cast in comes the ling it's the guardian's barrier far too late not being able to punish anyone as I think the mid lane is going to be a point of contention. They slow down the Angela. Do they want to go for this? No, the oh. Angela is safe. On the other side, though, the Thams going to lose the battle against the Cho. Cho gets his second kill while Uzumaki gets his second death. 
So obviously the Cho is going to be able to get a lot of early game presence now, yes. nearing his way into the Blade of Despair. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, Peso Esports here really respects uh, the Cho pick of Mahinapo Gaming because I noticed that uh, during the minutes of our game, they are really committed into three manning up the Cho earlier. And they kind of, the, 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 the thing is, they kind of overextend their stay there. So uh, it gives the other members though to really go uh, and funnel. But Turtle at the same time though, soon. Peso Esports here, even though they are doing that, it, it just goes to show that they have the, the capability to really pressure out Mahinopao Gaming. But here, 4 to 1 uh, fight. And again, Uzumaki will be slain by the Aldu. But in exchange, they will be going still for objectives and stealing the buffs away from Mahinopao Gaming. Now, the Wong Sinigang pops the ultimate. The bad spot, uh, honestly. Josh now falling yeah. star moon though. Alchus is gonna be taken out, but the falling star moon is promising. I see though. Nicely timed. Last insanity. Not gonna be able to get the kill, but they will fend off the attack for a clean take onto Josh. Bottom lane with the dragon committed. Again. He still yeah. has no, no longer has the ultimate actually. Yeah. But Nevertheless, again, the turtle wow. is gonna be taken. Yeah, sorry, Pachi. It's okay, it's okay. I mean, I, I <laughs> mean, I'm just really amazed how Peso Esports is really good at diversions. Really, really, because if you notice, uh, they they are onto the middle lane, just getting some, you know, fending them off, and it gave Ling a huge amount of space to go and target the turtle. Take so that that's that's really, you know, something that it, it's a bit hard to do because usually when when we see some games. Uh, some some go on mid and then some really goes for vision onto the turtle side. So I like it how best esports is really maintaining uh, this uh, Ooh. diversion play. Oh, so much the damage coming out of the Louis the moments, kind of scary. But fortunately for Mainapo Gaming, there's not uh, any follow up ready mm. at that moment. And I think you're gonna be inspired to play the Louis more yes. now. So we have the dragon against the Grok as they they got the Grok. Nice timing from lane. They want to go for IC more onto the bottom lane. That's mm -hmm. Josh using the ultimate just to run away from the Ling. And IC is in a lot of trouble. In fact, he will fall after that Angela as well. Nice chain of events coming out from Mahina Po Gaming. Yes, this is this is what I mentioned earlier about really respecting this show pick because uh, if you see once the show is really showing some signs of life like uh you mentioned earlier that that's the reason why they were trying to three man uh down him the attempt early onto the bottom side to prevent this from happening and uh, let's see reek here will be using the falling storm moon so this gives a little bit of a cooldown and you and Peso Esports here using that opportunity. Gorgeous Barrier will use to corner them down, and the Ling will be going for the kill. Gorgeous Pathway will be used, but not enough to escape. And here we go. They managed to really get the compensation that they initially had onto the early mid game. The Monsiga out for blood, not gonna reach anyone. Top lane, Ben thinks was Austin Esports are supports. Just pressuring the top lane actually while the rest of their squad are doing something better in another part of the map. It's a turtle. <laughs> Which and is the a turtle. turtle in the turret actually that they were able to get out. So that's a lot of economy going in mm. favor of of um uh, Peso Esports. Uh, this is where the statement make your wallet fat comes into play because Peso Esports <laughs> is really putting those Peso in. Well, it's not really Peso, but the currency, you get the point. And that's what Ooh. they're currently doing right now, but the template space will be forced to use so that he won't get picked off anytime soon. The Aldu will be uh, aiming for the link, but going here into a very messy fight. Last Insanity will be to show them away, but Lei and Aldu will be getting a kill for himself to retaliate. And this is not yet over. The Angelo will be having a cleanup for himself, really turning the tables around for the side of Mahinapo Gaming. Not so weak right here. The mortality will be used, but cornered by three people. And I see, I won't, I don't think he be able to make it he will not survive and lay here that was a beautiful uh escape into that turret yeah such a massive fight obviously for 
Mahina po gaming. Very nice chain of um, I'd say this chain of skills. Now they mm-hmm. waited for the commitment coming out from Peso Esports, and knowing that the Grok wasn't there, they decided maybe it's time to fight. They had that glorious pathway in combination with the falling star moon which meant that the Aljus as well as this um, Esmeralda was able to get to the back lines faster because of the fact that the glorious pathway was there it was also placed mm-hmm. in a nice spot because it was a it was an alley that they had to go through like in the middle it's it's quite tight which meant that the damage output from both the Hylos, Aljus even the Angela Esmeralda is gonna be on point and on, mm-hmm. on the mark and they were able to get it all very nice um decision making now for for mahina po gaming as compared to their previous game yes and that made them close in the gap in terms of economy and xp as well this uh means uh for this we're already entering our mid game right now and for mahina po gaming they just really need to be patient and let this show go for initiation followed by the tanky uh lineups Sometimes. for for the both the, for the for the aldo and the hylos and speaking of the thams uh in game one he was very efficient but not on to game number two that we have right now no they're gonna control now the grok mm. No more Firaga armor, armor available for Icy, but in comes the Ling from the back. Lights, they shut down the Cho. Can they get more? Dealing the damage. The Aldos is down, as well as the Angela. And that was such a bad decision coming out from uh, Mahina Po Gaming. And even when they felt that they are strong, it's really, how do I say this, ambitious for them to dive that yes. way. And they were duly punished by the Ling. They, uh, they really overcommitted. Uh, their stay right there. Like, there's this saying that don't take too much what you can't really offer. Ooh, and this. Going Ooh. back here, Glorious Pathway will be used. Retribution is available for Reek. Who's gonna get this? Who, it's gonna be Ooh. the export to steal that away. Unleash the beast, taking so much damage. Just yes, is out with the damage from the Louis as well. Nicely done. Yes. This is where the shot calling comes into play right here, Wolf, because uh oh initially it was peso esports that was taking that lord side and it was a good attempt for unleash the beast and reek to uh, uh, potentially steal but unfortunately numbers matter uh in terms of manpower so they had they really have to take that into consideration now um mahina pogami is down to three people of course the usual go-to for peso esports right here is just to really abuse the economy that they can get both on their side and to the side the jungle side of Mahinapo gave me. With the Lord now, it's gonna be totally different when it comes to like the strength of both teams. Again, the minions themselves, they can push and they're pressuring the mid lane. Now look at Ivori forced to use the flicker just to run away from the Luyi as well as the other mm-hmm. members of Peso Esports top lane. There's the Thams accompanying the Lord so that any minion wave clear is not gonna be possible. Ben thinks as well as the Tomong Sinigang are quite ready for this. Look at the placement of the skills from the Luwi. This is such a very good usage of that skill. Now they want to go <laughs> over the wild charge, almost taking down one. But in the middle, mm-hmm. another inhibitor falls. Seiya, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen now. Oh, that was a beautiful skill set by the lawyer right here, followed by that beautiful cleanup. But then again, the link with the Tempest Blade, and look at that assassination from the x Borg as well. They really don't care much not about the minion taking. All they have to do is just get, get those heroes and go for the base. And that is what...